Hi everyone, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. In today's video, I am bringing you one of my favorite recipes. So, for my line of work, I have been very, very lucky that I've been able to work and collaborate with some very, very great chefs. And one of the chefs that I worked with for an event um, was a breakfast type event and I asked him to make me French toast and have it served in a station and he created the most incredible French toast ever and the French toast that he shared with me and that he created for that day was this Panettone French toast and if I tell you that this French toast is incredible so I begged and pleaded and he gave me the recipe along with a figgy pudding recipe that he gave me that's like out of this world um, and that he made for another event that I had but I'm gonna share with you this panettone French toast enjoy now the items that you're gonna need are some ground cinnamon powdered sugar ground nutmeg heavy whipping cream some panettone I'm using two smaller ones because we have a week and a half until Christmas and I don't want to freeze it. Two eggs, some vanilla extract, and a tablespoon of orange juice. So in our um, shallow baking um, dish, I'm going to crack two eggs. And then I will add to the eggs is one cup of the heavy whipping cream. And we're going to add um, our tablespoon of orange juice. And next I'll add a teaspoon of the vanilla extract. And then we will whisk all of the ingredients together. Just making sure that the yolk is broken and thoroughly mixed with the other um, wet ingredients. Okay, so next I'm adding in a tablespoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of the nutmeg. Now I'm going to just go ahead and mix all of those dry ingredients with the remaining um, custard for these um, this French toast, and just make sure that there are no large clumps of the cinnamon or the nutmeg in there. That everything is thoroughly mixed together. Once everything is mixed together, we're gonna set our custard aside. So now I've taken my panettones out the wrapper, and just you know, it's really easy to come off. Just unwrap them. And at the bottom of them, sometimes they can be a little hard, but these actually weren't. But just so I can show you, I'm going to just um, go ahead and um, cut off the bottom of that um, of this panettone. I love this stuff. I eat it out the box and just cut slices of it and um, toast it and eat it with butter. It is so good. But just cut this, um, cut your slices in like rather thick slices so when you buy the actual panettone it's going to be a huge loaf cut that in half and then cut your slices so and then you know if you, you can make it the next day if you would want to you can try freezing it i don't know how it is to freeze um it never lasts that long like i said i'll eat the rest of it and so and i'm going to go ahead and cut my other loaf so that's what i just did here bring over my custard and I will just like you do your regular French toast you're gonna place the um, panettone slices in the custard let it sit in there for about um, a minute and then turn it over another minute 
Uh, so just so that all some of the custard can absorb into this this bread, and um, but you don't want it to be really really soggy. And once it's about um, about a minute on each side, then we're gonna go ahead and place it into our frying pan. My slices have absorbed enough of the um, custard. I am going to place them in this um, frying pan. I have the heat on about a medium, so I'm just gonna go ahead and place the slices in the frying pan. And the one thing about this is you can use your tongs when you're placing it in the frying pan. But when you're flipping it, I would not suggest you use your tongs. Go ahead and use your spatula when you're flipping it. So each side should brown, I would say maybe like two to three minutes. It just depends on how you like your French toast. I like my French toast and I like my um, custard batter to be a little bit more cooked. Some people like theirs um, softer. I'm particularly, particularly I don't. And that one right there that I just flipped, that is like the right consistency, you know, of cookness for me. So um, I'm gonna just go ahead and let these cook for a minute. And then this is my second batch of the panettone here. And then the final result is these panettone, this um, French toast. And I'm, I warmed up my syrup. I'm just gonna drizzle the syrup over it. Oh my God! And this is like maple syrup. So good. Really good. And then I'm gonna end it by sprinkling some powdered sugar over it. Yummy. Oh my goodness. I tell you, you guys, you're really going to like this if you try this. This was one of my favorite recipes that I could pry out of this chef. And, you know, just in case you didn't know, panettone is um, it's a type of a bread. And it's sort of like your grandmom's um, fruit cake. And I remember my great grandmother used to get a fruit cake every year, and she would eat it. And I thought it was so nasty and disgusting. But I love panettone. So guys, this is it. I'm having mine with some hash browns. It's not my oven baked hash browns, but these are some regular hash browns as well as some chicken sausage, Italian chicken sausage that were purchased from Aldi's and these sausages are they're delicious guys you have to try them so this is actually going to be my Christmas breakfast um, this year and um, we had it today and we'll have it in two weeks my family loved it this morning and I just wanted to share it with you guys so guys I'm gonna go ahead and end this video if you like this video leave me a comment below also I would like for you to hit the like button if you're new to Wani's house, welcome, and I would love for you to subscribe, and I will put the subscribe button right here. All right, guys, so I'm going to end this video by saying the next time you're in town, you can always stop by Wani's house, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy holidays, guys. Merry Christmas.